some of our boss kids and we are going to start our next series, God and Justice. But before we dive into our curriculum, we're going to play a little bit of a memory verse game, kind of mix in with Chubby Bunny. But before these bunnies get chubby, can you guys introduce your <laughs> names to us, please? Hi, my name is Micah. Hi, my name is Ayana. Hi, my name is Yelena. And for those of you who may be joining us for the first time, I am Miss B. So, girls, can you please put in your first marshmallow and say the first sentence of our verse on the count of three? One, two, three. So, so God created <laughs> in all likeness. Good. One more marshmallow, and we'll do the second sentence on the count of three. One, two, three. So God created Good. If you can fit one more marshmallow, you can try it. If not, keep your two. Now you're going to read all three sentences. One, two, three. Three. <laughs> no children were harmed in the practice of this memory verse. So girls, I have a couple of questions for you guys before we start our lesson. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Are you sure? Yes. Are you positive? Yes. yes. I think they're ready. Yes. So, question number one. You guys ready for this? Yes. Okay. My question to you girls is, do all of us as people, do we look the same? No. You guys said that really quick and confidently. Can someone tell me, just with us up here, what is something different? Ayana, your hand went up first. We had different faces. Different faces, Micah? We all had like different colors in our ears. Good, so we all have- We're hairy. Wait, you said we're hairy? <laughs> what we're wearing. What we're wearing, okay. Oh, I know. Um, we're all different ages. Different ages. Good job. I think we all, I think it's clear all of us are different ages up here. Oh, wait. Mine was different hairstyles. Different hairstyles. That's a really good point because we all got different hairstyles. I like it. Can you tell us what we all have in common? We all have curly hair. Curly hair. Okay. You are right. Ayana? We are black. We're all black? Huh. Well, I probably. <laughs> <laughs> Elena, go ahead. We all believe in God. We all believe in God. Great job. You guys are quick with these. All right, now, something else different with you guys, or, or in common, something else that you guys haven't said. Either different or in common, that's more than just how we work. I'm gonna maybe. say the common one. Okay, Micah and then Ayana. We all like to help out. I can't hear you a bit louder. We all like to help each other. You guys all like to help each other, each other. Good, good, Ayana. We all like to help, helping. Good, you guys all like helping? So. All right, let's try to dive into our lesson. So for our lesson today, we're going to talk about God creating us in his image. Have you guys ever heard that before? Um, that we're creating God's image? I think it sounds familiar. It sounds familiar. So let's dive into our question of the day, you guys, or our bottom line. So do you guys know that each of us are made in the image of God? Yes. 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 Can someone tell me what that might mean to be made in the image of God? Micah, go ahead. Um, that, you know, since God is the one that created us, you know, we're all alike, and, um, that, like, even, like, if we're born, you know, we don't know each other when we're born, that doesn't mean we can, that God can show us, or give us, like, a pathway to knowing each other, and give you more, like, more information about God if they don't know more. Good. Really good. So we're going to talk a little bit about the creation story. And I think for all of you girls up here, it's kind of review. Maybe for some of us at home, it's a little bit of review. So we talk about in Genesis 1, God made the what? The whole the world. 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 Perfect. He made the whole world and then he made people. But in what order did he make us? Did he make us first or last? Last. Mm -hmm. Good job. I know I saw your hand. I'm sorry. So God made us last, right? He And he made us special. So the Bible says that God took the dust off the ground and then he breathed into it almost like a kiss. Can you guys, someone tell me what, what is dust like? Like dirt. Flower? It can, Flower? It can kind of be like dirt sometimes. Like dirt? Does it make you sneeze sometimes? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, it does. Is it thick or is it like thin? Thin. thin. Kind of thin? Good. It's like kind of like sand. Kind of. Yeah, kind of like sand or like dirt. Good job. So out of the dust came the first living person. What was his name? Adam. Adam. You guys can just say it out loud. I'll tell you guys that you can say it out, okay? And so what was Adam made out of again? Dirt. Dirt, dirt or dust. Good job. 
So then God brought animals and let Adam name all the animals. I'm gonna show you guys a couple of pictures and then I want you guys to make up a name for these animals, okay? Ooh. So oh, we get to pick them or they already have a name and we have to. What would you name this animal? Uh, Ratatouille. Ratatouille, <laughs> all right. No other names? Dumbo, because of his big ears. <laughs> so we'd have a new animal named Dumbo. Next one. No other names? No. All right, one. next animal, what would you name this one? Uh, it kind of looks like a pineapple. A hedgehog. A, pi a pineapple pig. <laughs> a pineapple pig? I think I like that. Will it go on pizza? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Micah does not like pineapple on her pizzas. Do we have any other names for this animal? Going once. You don't once. like them spiky. What are they called? You have to make a new name. You can't name it after uh, another one. A new name. A hedgehog. Uh, Hedgehog's already an animal. Uh, I want to call it make a board. Uh, mi um, mini SpongeBob because the house. A mini SpongeBob. Okay. It's hard. I'll take that. A mini SpongeBob. It is right, but that was Adam's job. Adam's job was to name all the animals. So right. Name a horse. Name the horse a horse. All that right. So next up, who did God create after Adam? Eve. 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 What was she made out of? Dirt. Dirt. Dust. Dust. Everyone, put your hand, right hand up. Now crisscross, right here. What what bones do you feel right here? Ribs. Oh, uh, ribs. Oh, oh ribs? Ribs. Eve was like made out of meat. I thought it was or or like. <laughs> That's a great question. So the ribs we eat are from animals. Oh, yeah, so but we also have ribs that protect our lungs. And that's how God made Eve from Adam. So what was Adam made out of? Ribs. Dust. Dust. Oh. And Eve was made from what? Bones. Ribs. Bones. Whose ribs do you think? Adam. Adam. You can say it out loud. Remember, you can, it was from Adam's ribs. Good job. Adam. So, Adam did love living with God in his perfect home. Mm -hmm. However, like I said, he made Eve because Adam was a little bit lonely, right? The Bible says that when before God made Eve, he made Adam go to sleep. What are some sounds people make when they go to sleep? Snoring. I can't hear that snoring. snoring. I think you're really that tired. So there's a mixture between snoring or snorting, but at the end of the day, I think we know it's snorting. So Adam went into a deep sleep. So my kids are Adam who was in a deep sleep. So while Adam was snoring, then he made Eve out of Adam's what? Bones. Bones, Bones or ribs. ribs. Perfect. So. The coolest part about Adam and Eve, you guys, is that not just them, but Micah and Diana and Elena and your parents and your siblings and everyone watching at home, we're all made in whose image? God's image. In God's image, good job. This means that everyone, boys and girls, yes or no? Yes. Yes, we're made in God's image. So maybe we look like him, maybe we do things like God, <coughs> maybe we draw and make things, but did you guys know there's something really unique about humans that animals don't do or have? They don't have souls. Souls, what else? Can animals create other things? Bands, yes. Like, can they make buildings like humans do? Oh, no. Can they make fake, like, rivers and lakes and stuff like humans oh, do? No. Do you think animals can, like, plan for their future like humans do? No. Not really, right? Humans are made uniquely like that. Because if you think about it, let's look at, let's look at Micah. Let's look, is Micah's hair long or short? Long. Curly or, sh curly or straight? Curly straight. <laughs> Micah, is your hair curly or straight? Curly. Curly. Let's look at Ayana. Is Ayana tall or short? Short. short. <laughs> <laughs> come back, come back. All right. Now, is Ayana's hair long or short? Medium. Or medium? Medium. Kind of medium. Let's look at Elena. Is Elena's hair Go. curly or short? What do you mean curly, curly or short? short? <laughs> curly or straight? Curly. Sure, sure. Wait. It's curly. Yeah. Is curly. Is Elena tall or short? Tall. 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 So it makes her look short. So think about this. God made each of you guys really different. We talked about our differences earlier, right? But God had to picture you before he made you. Do you guys think animal pic animals picture things before they start doing them? No. Like how we do? No. Do you, when you guys color, do you think about what you're going to color first and picture the colors yes. going there? Yes. So that's something really unique to us and how we look like God and how we think like God and how we're created in his image, right? Question for you guys now. We talked about, is everyone made in the image of God, yes or no? Yes. 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 The well, answer, a lot yes. of people don't know. A lot of people don't know. Give me some fist bump. Ooh, yeah. Good job. 
So I want you guys to think of the nicest person you know. Don't say it out loud yet, just don't say it out loud. Think of your ni the nicest person you know, whether it's your parent, it's a friend, it's a teacher. Think of the nicest pers person you know. <laughs> Do you have that person in your head? Yes. Okay. Is it hard to believe that they were made in the image of God? No. No. So the nicest person, it's, is it hard to think that they were made in the image of God? No. no? Okay, good. Now think of the meanest person you know, or maybe the most irritating, <laughs> maybe the most irritating, the most frustrating, maybe it's, maybe it's a sibling, maybe it's someone who bullies you at school, maybe someone who's not so nice. Think of the meanest person you know. Don't say any names. I'll give you about five more seconds, the meanest person you know. It could also be teacher and adult. All right. Is it hard to believe that they were made in the image of God? Yes. 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 What about you? Sometimes? sometimes? Okay. That's fair. That's fair. So why is it sometimes hard to view someone as made in the image of God? Micah. Um, Loud. Well, especially if like a person you don't like because you don't want to get to know them. So does anyone else have anything else? What makes it hard to believe that someone was created in the image of God? Maybe things they do or say? Any Maybe examples? They say? Maybe the way they act? How might they act that makes it hard to think of them like that? They're uh, rude. Maybe they're rude, Ayana? Maybe like they have an issue with, in their family. Maybe they have an issue in their family that makes them act a certain way, Micah? Maybe because the people they're around with, them, they, don't want, they want to act the same way because they think they'll be cool or something. But really, they, don't, you know, they, they think they're cool, but sometimes in different ways they really are. Perfect. So, before we end off on thinking of these, um, I'm going to close this out in a little bit of, of a prayer. And then we will be done with today. Okay, can you guys bow your head and close your eyes? Yes. Awesome. And then at home, if we could bow our head and close our eyes, we can bring our hands out here and close to our heart. All right, dear God, thank you for loving us so much that you created us in your own image and your own likeness. Thank you for loving us enough to want to be close to us. And please help us to remember that we are made in your image and to remember that everyone else is also created in your image. And please help us to love them in that way. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Alright, you're gonna say bye. Bye. bye.